<sighs> All right, it's time. I've covered a lot of modern old mods on this channel, meaning mods that have been developed in the last few years for some of the oldest versions of the game. However, one thing that's come up time and time again in the comments of every video is, Ryan, when are you going to talk about Better Than Adventure? It's become kind of a running joke in my Discord community that I don't know what BTA is and refuse to acknowledge its existence. So why haven't I covered it? Well, it's been covered like crazy by some other amazing creators, and I've truly felt like I didn't have much to add to the conversation, which is why I haven't made a video about it yet. But with its recent major update and massive explosion in popularity, I sat down and thought about it more, watched all the content I could, and realized there is some things I'd like to add and give my perspective on. And now, it's finally time. Let's talk about Minecraft's Better Than Adventure mod. So a lot of people have said that despite the amount of great content covering and talking about the mod, they'd like to hear my thoughts about it. Well, let me be very clear. In my opinion, it's the greatest beta 1.7.3 mod ever made, at least at the time of making this video. Though I can't imagine anything better coming out anytime soon. Considering beta 1.7.3 has been my favorite version for the better part of 12 years now, this kind of says a lot coming from me. And real quick, just in case this is your first exposure to the Better Than Adventure mod, let's briefly summarize what it is and some of the major components. Better Than Adventure was made in response to beta 1.8, aka Minecraft's adventure update. It's what Minecraft could have been had Notch never released Beta 1.8, and instead took the game in an entirely different direction. It's inspired by the Beta 1.4 mod from 2011, Better Than Wolves, which was created in direct response to the addition of the Minecraft Wolf, something the developer very vocally disliked for some reason. Better Than Adventure is in response to the controversial Adventure update, which took the game into the modern direction we see today. I've already made a video covering why that update is so controversial, so definitely check that out if you want to learn more about it. Better Than Adventure calls itself a polished, finalized form of beta Minecraft almost like a sequel to beta 1.7.3. Anyway, Better Than Adventure adds a few new blocks, biomes, and tweaks the game in a way to make it way more interesting, and gives the player a lot of direction and objectives to complete in order to progress, which is the major complaint from players of why vanilla beta just isn't so great. But what's beautiful about it is the mod doesn't force these objectives on you. Instead, it does it in a way that makes some useless items useful again. For example, an item that was made obsolete as soon as coordinates were added to the F3 screen all the way back in early alpha is the compass. Better Than Adventure addresses this and incentivizes you to go get redstone and iron to make one, as you cannot see your coordinates without one. Another way it adjusts the game in a similar vein is how you craft a bed. Instead of doing what you would normally do the first day of a survival world in vanilla, finding sheep to make a bed and never having to deal with a single night of mobs instantly, better than adventure beds require cloth. Now cloth is dropped by zombies, so you have to brave the night if you want to skip it in the future. And this is just scratching the surface of tweaks like this, but the point is it gives the game a little spice, and it's fun to find all of the little quirks of the mod. And perhaps my favorite part of the mod is the dynamic seasons, which happen over a cycle of 28 Minecraft days or seven days per season. The leaves and grass change color depending on the season, which just looks so nice, and each season affects different parts of the game. Like in winter, the nights are longer, just like in real life, and crops don't grow nearly as much as they do in the spring or summer seasons. It keeps the game super fresh and almost requires you to plan ahead a little bit. That's something that doesn't really happen in vanilla, let alone beta vanilla. Now, I could go on and on about what makes this mod the best, but I want to add to the conversation and give more of my perspective with this video, and there is a ton of information on the nitty gritty details of the mod out there if you're curious to dig into all of what it has to offer. 
So firstly, I want to talk about how Better Than Adventure completely rocked the so-called golden age of Minecraft, which refers to all of the versions of the game from classic up to version 1.2.5. So most of the mods that were made in that time period were mods that either added something completely wacky and so different from vanilla Minecraft or completely changed the game in a way that made it totally unrecognizable. Apart from Better Than Wolves and a few less popular ones, the quote-unquote alternate timeline style of Minecraft mods didn't really happen until way later. When Better Than Adventure came out in summer of 2021, it completely exploded that genre in a way that no other mod genres have ever seen before. Before it came things like Not So Secret Saturday and New Frontier Craft, both of which are considered the grandfathers of the Golden Age modding movement, but nothing really took off like Better Than Adventure did. There was a huge wave of people flocking back to the old versions of the game again. Tons of mods came out, ones that I've talked about before. Re-Indev, Minecraft Diverge, Authentic Adventure, the Legacy Plus Trilogy. Developers have been inspired. Creators have been inspired. Mods like this have helped me rediscover my love for the early versions of the game again, and I am blessed to share that with so many people who watch my videos. It's really hard to put into words how mods like this feel. It's really like replaying the game for the first time all over again. All of the love of what made vanilla Minecraft so groundbreaking and so great, combined with the ability to discover, explore, and just kind of figure out things as you go. Better Than Adventure just hits that way, and I can definitely speak for a lot of people when I say that. When I compare it to some other famous mods from that time, like Industrial Craft or Build Craft or the Tech It stuff, it's just insanely different in the best way. Those mods are great in their own right, but change the game so much that it doesn't really feel like Minecraft at a certain point. Not saying that's a bad thing, and again, those mods are great, but Better Than Adventure just feels like vanilla extended. Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling a little bit. I could analyze this sort of stuff all day. Another thing that's great is that the devs really focus on building a community around the mod and release tons of updates that focus on accessibility and take into account what the community wants. And that's all you can ask for from a development team. So let's go back to why these sorts of mods have exploded in popularity. I mean, over the last few weeks, Better Than Adventure has gone absolutely viral, seeing thousands of people joining the Discord every single week since their last major update, 1.7.7.0. I think the question of popularity can be summed up with two reasons. One, modern Java Minecraft is becoming historically unpopular. Let's face it, 1.20 was a complete flop. 1.19 was underwhelming, and well, I personally love 1.18 because I love the new world generation, a lot of people feel the opposite. And don't even get me started on Buzzy Bees. There's just been an overall meh to bad sentiment about the game over the last couple years. Modern Minecraft content has seen a bit of a lull without much game-breaking out-of-the-box content, though that's a whole nother video topic for another day. This is leading people back to the earlier versions of the game, or people who joined the Minecraft chain later checking out the history of their new favorite game. For people looking to spice things up beyond nostalgia, this mod just fits perfectly. Which leads me to reason number two, nostalgia. If there's anything I've learned focusing on nostalgic topics for videos, it's that, well, to put it very bluntly, nostalgia sells. It's so great to relive these moments from back when we were younger, remembering when things were simpler and the biggest worry was a creeper exploding our wood and cobblestone house. And the beauty of these parallel timeline mods is that they still make Minecraft feel nostalgic while also adding a brand new game type of feeling. It's like the king of win-win situations. This video turned into more of a long-winded soapbox rant rather than a mod review, so I'm sorry about that. But like I've said a million times, there are a lot of great reviews and detailed videos about the content of Better Than Adventure out there. Hopefully you found my perspective interesting though, and let me know your own thoughts on Better Than Adventure and the Minecraft Golden Age in general in the comments below. 
Oh, and shameless plug, I've started live streaming A Better Than Adventure World every single weekend. I'm only on episode one, and not only is it a blast, but people really enjoyed it. So if live streaming is something that you enjoy, stop by and hang out if you see me streaming. Special thanks to my channel members on these signs. Super shout out to my knights, Crimson, Thomas Wellman Boyd, Ponytail MC, and Melon Siggy, or Siggy, and my beloved Lord members, Vipichu, Wario Will, and Dirty Dan. You all mean the world to me, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I have so much more coming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.